What do you mean I'm creating filler content just because I have to record for multiple days where I'm not going to be here? I'm totally not doing that. No, that's not why I'm using this new system. It totally is. Okay, so, yeah. This tower. Uh, how come... Okay, what determines whether I can jump off of a pillar or not? I, that's what I want to know. This one I can. So if I... It depends, though. Yeah, I have no idea what determines when you can jump off of those pillars or not. But if it works, then I'm gonna go for it. I mean, seriously, if you can completely avoid that bully, it's amazing. Okay, don't get burned, Mario. That would be very bad. Or would it? Is there... Hmm... I... I feel like trying this. Oh my god, it works! <laughs> oh my god, it worked! Wait, 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 wait... <laughs> Wait, hang on, are these pillars, oh my god, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, really, <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm, I'm sorry, I tried to start your eardrums, I am so sorry. <gasps> What? <laughs> you can do that. I'm sorry, Fire Tower. You've been demoted to Easiest Tower. No, not Easiest Tower, but... Oh my god. You can cheese the tower. Wow. That ch literally... Literally changes everything about this entire level. Like, no, no, no joke. This changes literally everything. I am not really sure what to do about myself now. And I can get back here just fine. Wow, okay. And then from here, I can just walk right off here. Oh my god. Oh. My god. I'm literally, like, I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> Oh my god, the fire tower has been trivialized. Thank the lord. I did... I, I I don't know if that's intentional or not, that you can do that, but... I'm gonna take it. I'm very happy that that's possible. Because that'll just make my life 10,000 times easier. Like, no joke. Cool. This tower, unfortunately, doesn't seem to have any tricks to it, so... We're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way, I guess. Whoa, okay, that's kind of scary. No way for another snowball. I don't trust Mario to not get hit by a snowball. Nice. So, yeah, the... Fire Tower can be completely trivialized. I'm not sure what to make of that. Like, do I still want to go to the Fire Tower first then? Like, this th this changes everything about this entire level. Like, no joke. I, I'm starting to think that I want to do the Ice Tower first now, because the Ice Tower is still kind of tricky. And... Yeah, like, the Ice Tower is still tricky, and I would definitely benefit more from having the Ice Tower done, I think. No, oh god, I... wow. But yeah, like, seriously, the... I, if I can just skip half of the Fire Tower just like that, then why the heck wouldn't I, right? I mean, it does imply that I have to get two uh, red coins to heal myself. Because if I don't get those, then, well, I'm pretty much just screwed, right?
Alright, well, actually, I could have just landed in that, and I would have been fine. Uh, what else? I think there's a platform below me? I'm not sure. Yeah, it is, actually, right below me. Okay. Alright. Wow. Wow, guys. Wow. <laughs> I, um... Wow? <laughs> yeah, not how you deal with the lava waterfalls. Actually, uh... That changes everything. That changes the dynamic of this entire level. Like, that was just a random idea I got. Because I remember one time... I remember that I was able to go through the, uh... What should I call it? The the platforms by falling in the lava. So I figured, well, might as well try it there as well, right? Like just try it at the beginning to, as like a shortcut, you know, to get past the bully. But I didn't think it would lead to me being able to actually skip straight to the switch like that. Like I am literally amazed at what crazy stuff you can do in this game. In in the at least for that tower. That is so cool. Uh, let me just adjust my earbuds a little. There we go. Nope, that was death. Or, no, it's not death. That actually just knocks me back, back down here. Okay. So it's not death. We get uh, two tries at that before we have to uh, kill a scuttlebug to heal. Okay, well, that's not so bad. Cool. Yeah, I'm still not a fan of the electric tower, honestly. It's still probably one of my least favorite towers. Just because of this jump here. This jump is ridiculous. Whoever thought this was a good idea should be shot. Well, no, that's that's a little extreme, isn't it? No! Okay, that's kind of inconsistent too, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe I should do the electric tower first, then. Because now that I know how the trick behind the fire tower... I'm gonna- yeah, let's do the electric tower first. <laughs> I'm completely changing my strategy because I feel that- Yeah, now, now that I know how to deal with the fire tower in an alternate way that is not intended, or at least doesn't seem intended, then, yeah, I, I feel like that changes everything about how I should approach this level. Can I backflip up here? No. So it does have to be a side flip. Or a double jump, maybe. Alright, I am kind of glad that he didn't hit me there, because I think he probably would have. Yeah, this tower is definitely the hardest. Or, I don't know, wait. <laughs> See, my hardest tower keeps changing because I'm not really sure what is hard, or what I'm doing wrong, or what I'm doing right. Uh, so last time I hit the, the the wall, right? So I need to maybe be closer to this edge before I do my triple jump. Okay, nope, that didn't work. And all the camera's stuck. Thanks. Thanks, camera. I think actually, yeah, if you get a bit of momentum, you can uh, double jump up here. Maybe. Because the double jump is momentum based. That much I do know. Actually, I think most jumps in this game are somewhat momentum based. Like, I, I'm pretty sure single jumps even go higher if you have a little bit of extra momentum. But, yeah, okay, if we jump closer to this edge. See, I guess I never really figured this out entirely, did I? Yeah, I didn't figure this out well enough. Okay. So, just because you're able to do the jump once doesn't mean that you're going to be able to do it again. Got it. But I, I'm pretty consistent with the ice tower now, I think. Well, not like super consistent, but like I, I can do it semi-consistently. If I can get this one jump down, I can cheese the fire tower, get through the cloud tower, and then I should be okay, honestly. Alright, you get down here. Wow, you are a butt. 
<laughs> like, wow, he he comboed me. Okay, we're gonna have to kill the next uh, scuttlebug then. Uh, I hate these little dips in the ground. They are kind of a problem. Come on, Mario, just do the freaking side flip. There we go. I can't believe I'm going back to trying to figure out the stupid lightning tower again. I thought I had it. I guess I don't. It's a very precise jump, though. You just have to do, like, one very specific jump here, and you can get up the tower just fine. There we go, yeah, like, you have to line yourself up just right. I don't really know how, though. No! Oh, really? Okay, well, we can get more practice at that one jump, I guess. That's what that means. Because I do want to get practice getting this jump in, because if I don't know how to do the jump consistently, it's never going to be a good thing. So I think if I line myself up right here... Nope, that... Well, I have to actually successfully wall jump, that's the problem. Is this gonna be another episode of me struggling with this one tower? Oh my god! I kinda figured that would happen at some point. That one, I should just triple jump. Don't try to side flip up there, because my control stick... It's not like the N64 control stick. It's not as precise. It's gonna try and make me do semicircles rather than skid, like this. Yeah, like, you can see that a lot. Mario tries to do a little se a little half circle instead of turning around with the pivot. So, if Mario doesn't pivot, you can't do the jump. That's just how it is. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lure, uh, no, we're not gonna lure that guy down. He's not there. Uh, we're gonna do the triple jump from here. Oh, that is so frustrating, though. But triple j at least this is safe. This is a very safe condition for triple jumping. Yeah. It's just here it's not very safe, because this guy's here. And he's gone. Okay. That happened. Alright, you're there. That's fine, you can just party. I don't need to deal with you. And apparently you just want to jump off the tower yourself anyway, so... Doesn't really matter. So line up with the gray bricks right here, do a jump, 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 jump. There we go. Yeah, you gotta be on the gray part, not the purple. The purple is the bad zone. And this jump, you have to do a dive, I think, so yeah, dive into this to get that. This is kind of a tricky jump, actually, now I think about it. But yeah, if you do a double jump, you'll get back out fine. Then you can do a long jump across here. There we go. Double jump up here. And the rest is pretty trivial, honestly. Because there aren't even any uh, spiders to stop us, so yeah. It really is just that one jump. That is the problem. So, okay, this tower, it's still pretty easy, but if you mess up the triple jump too much, then you will die. At least I know the trick to the triple jump now. Like, I know how to do it more consistently than I did before. Is there any ground underneath me right here? I have no idea. Because I'm kind of tempted to just jump. There is. There's ground. Okay, let's just jump down then. Yeah, going down this tower is not too hard. You just need to be careful of spiders. What a surprise. This is the long jump, right? Yeah, this is the long jump. That one's actually a little bit scary going backwards, but it's not too bad, actually. This is probably not Terror Urn, so to speak, or the run, but. It's going to be close. Since now I know how to deal with this, I know how to deal with the fire tower, and I should be able to deal with the sky place as well pretty easily. 
So yeah, that, I, I, I'm pretty comfortable with this level now. Will I say it is well designed? Uh, I'm not sure about that yet. That remains to be seen, because I actually still don't know. Okay, that sucks. Yeah, the Ice Tower is still the hardest, though. Because I have the shortcut. I have the shortcut on the Fire Tower. That's fine. It's just the Ice Tower is the only tricky one. So do the, the Ice Tower first. Do the Lightning Tower next. Do the Fire Tower third. Then do the Cloud Tower, because why not? Cloud Tower is the one I think I'm most comfortable with, that's why. And also, this this correlates better with my uh, timing of the first tower being, yeah, the first one we go to. Because that allows me to avoid the first two snowballs very easily with good timing. And that allows me to go straight to the top of the slope without having to worry about any other snowballs hitting me. Oh, except for that one, maybe. There we go. Waiting for a snowball, and then we're going to do a backflip. go. Wait, why did I do a long jump there? I don't... I sometimes forget what jumps I do at which places. Like, that looked like a good place to do a long jump for some reason, and I decided I'm gonna do a long jump there. No, don't do a long jump. That's too far. Alright, so... Backflip over this guy. Recover. No, I said recover, and then walk up the slope. There we go. Now, if we stay on the outer edge, once we get to the end, we should be able to avoid the last snowball. Yep, there we go. And that'll give us enough time to go for this as well. I could probably just go after this, because I don't think the next snowball comes for a little bit. No wait though. There it is. There we go. This is a double jump. Don't do a stupid long jump. Like, seriously, why would you do a long jump there? I wish there was a way to cheese this tower too, but then I guess you'd be able to cheese every tower. Or at least every tower would be kind of trivial at that point. Not that I think that's a bad thing per se, but you know. Because I do have to do all four towers still in one run. So having them be not like the hardest things ever would kind of help me. Because things like this are going to happen. Like, the, the problem I have with this level is it takes a very long time to play through, because you have to be incredibly patient when you're going through these uh, tower things, so... Yeah, like, I, I'm definitely feeling like more and more comfortable with the level and the obstacles, but I'm still not at a point where I feel like I would be able to beat the level all in one sitting, you know? There we go. At the top. I'm just gonna jump back. There we go. I feel like this red coin up here, the second one, is the one that kills me the most. Of all the red coins in the level. Because the other ones I feel like... Well, so... Three of them I'm going to be given. Like, that, they, they're... I have to get them, pretty much. If I'm going to beat the level at all. And that snowball sucks. Got it. That was some nasty timing, actually. Let's see if we can avoid the snowballs. There we go. So take a few steps back. Walk forward, jump. There we go. Uh, no, it's not backflip. Backflipping is kind of dangerous. Alright, we're gonna walk all the way up to the switch. There we go, got it. 
Switch has been hit. And then directly below us should be, I think, like this is something I always have to check, I feel. Okay, not directly directly, but kind of directly. If we get hit here, we're gonna die. Yeah, but directly below us here for sure is a platform. That much I know. All right, good. We're, we're, we're okay now. I'm gonna go for the lightning tower next because that one jump is incredibly tricky and it is pretty fatal. So I want to get that out of the way. Wow, I almost killed myself there because I couldn't see Mario. That's the problem with that silly jar in the center. I just absolutely dislike. Also coming back down from this tower is a little bit scary. So same with the, all the towers actually. All Coming back down from any of these towers is incredibly scary. I, I still don't think I've ever come down from like the sky tower successfully. All right, you're dead. Thanks for the contribution. I'm gonna avoid, ignore you, avoid you, whatever. I tried to mash two words together somehow. Avoid, ignore, avoir. All right, so here we want to hit the gray bricks, not the purple stuff. All right, here we go. There we go, and that's the jump. Whoa, careful. Yeah, make sure to actually do the long jump, though. No, 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 I said make sure to actually do the long jump, Mario. There we go. Good, Mario. You'll get a treat when you get home later tonight, maybe. Probably cake, because that seems to be all he cares about. Like, doesn't he go through this entire adventure just for a freaking cake? I'm pretty sure he does. Uh, yes, long jump. Yeah, that was kind of silly. I, I just hurt myself for a very dumb reason. Alright, so here again. Alright, make sure you do the jump properly this time. Or, well, this time you don't fall back down anyway. There we go. Good. And long jump. Don't fall off. Wow. We can long jump here. Yes, we usually long jump here. And then double jump up here. And then round the corner, and there we go. That's the second switch hit. It's the yellow one. Alright, is there an easy way down this tower from here? I need to check. I can get down to something. That's not exactly easy, but eh. Alright, that leads us here. If we jump down here, that leads us here. Ow. That was a mistake. Oh, this is actually uh, kind of bad. I need to get some health. I may have to do the white tower first before the fire tower, because I need to have full health. Otherwise, I can't actually do the strategy that I have in mind, which is kind of bad if I can't do it. Yeah, I definitely need to have full health. Where are the spiders? I hear them. Okay, there's one. Can I get him to die? Or is he gonna walk off? I hope he doesn't walk off. Oh no, he just hurt me! Jerk! Okay, now we're really in trouble. Okay, I didn't get enough health back, sadly. Ugh, this doesn't bode well for it to run. But, yeah, we need to do the white pillar first, I think, because I don't have enough health to go through the entirety of... Let me think. I take three damage from lava. I get plus two back. So that'll leave me at three. No, I'm going to have to take another hit from lava, so no, that's... Yeah, I need to do the white tower first. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like how this is going. But yeah, that's the nature of this thing, you know? I need to get health back. So yeah, I, I, I feel I need to do this. Okay. 
Okay, and that leads us here, which leads us to this. The janky wings and the janky boat and the... Everything's jank and I hate it. There we go. Yeah, I've never actually successfully made it back down this tower either, so I have no idea what I'm getting into. <laughs> this is practice. This is all practice. Where am I? There we go. Yeah, we need to get this switch first. And then we will hit the... We'll, we'll try to go for the coin. I don't know how successful we're going to be with that. Also, if I take fall damage, that's actually really... Yeah, that's important. I have to not take fall damage either. That's scary. Because I won't have enough health if I take fall damage. I just realized. Uh-oh. Why did... What did I just say? <laughs> what did I just say? Don't take fall damage, was it? Crap. Well, I just took fall damage, and I think that's going to kill the entire run, isn't it? Unless... Okay, that, actually, I, I have an idea. I have a plan. Wait, can we step in this thing already? Or no, there's still a very thin barrier there. Wow. Okay, I, I do have a an idea for how I can save the run still. It's very tricky, risky idea, but it might work. We need to hit this lava, get this coin, try and jump against the pillar and see if it's something I can jump against. Yep, that one I can jump on. There we go. Skip the bully. Okay, so this part, we cannot get hurt at all. If we do, we lose. Wow, what a surprise, right? Yeah. Okay, so what this requires is that I actually go all the way to the heart. And then I have to come back. Okay, I think we have successfully made it to the heart. Yes, we have. Okay, so now we're gonna, we gotta do something that the game didn't really intend us to do, but I'm doing it because it's easier for me. Jump here. Fall here. Wait, it... It spawns on the blue tower? That's just mean. Why would you do that? It spawns on the blue tower. That's just mean. Wow. So I have to go back up the blue tower to get my star. Oh no, it spawns at the center. Okay, I see that. Nice, we got a star. Holy cow. You bet I'm gonna save this game. Alright, so hitting the last switch gave me a star. That's kind of cool. What does this mean? What does it mean for the meta? I, don't, I have no idea, actually. That's fine. You can take fall damage. Just get the heart. Heal up. Hit the heart. A lot. Can I long jump from here to that? I think I can. Yes, okay, we're... I think we're almost there. We just need to go down? I, I've done this jump a million times, so... There we go. I did it again. There's our last star. It's literally right there. I cannot believe it. So, cheesing the red tower was the trick. That was, that was the key to victory, guys. Okay, before we step in the teleporter, I want to make sure that I get this. Yes! 130 stars! We did it! We did it! We got all the stars in the entire game.
And here's the final boss. Oh my god. Oh, it's you. What's up, old pal? Remember me? I'm the guy that is going to end the world. You don't look like Microsoft Paint face guy, but I guess you kind of do a little. Surprised to see my new form? Yeah, I kind of was, actually. I was able to regenerate some of my power. It's not perfect, but eh, it's gonna be enough to not take you serious. Haha. <laughs> I think you mean seriously. I know you won't just hand me the star, so let's play a little game. Uh-oh, it's Jigsaw. I'll play with you until you are very tired, and then regain my full power with your stars. Uh, okay, it's time for the final boss. I don't know how to fight him. This is kind of scary. So I need to go over there, it seems. Oh, I need a platform. Oh, great. He's just gonna summon a lot of platforms, I guess. Okay. Sure. No! <laughs> Are you serious? This is the final boss where I have to platform a bunch of... Uh, no! This is the final boss. This is absolutely not what I was hoping for. Do I have to redo the tower thing after this? Like, I hope not. I think I will, though. Won't I? What kind of attack is this? Who just creates platforms out of their hands and says that's an attack? That's more of a use these things to help yourself get to me. If anything. Oh my god, this is hard. This episode is getting really long, so I think I'm gonna actually cut it here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it here. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I finally got the last two stars. I'm so happy, but we still need to beat the final boss. So I'm gonna take a break. We're gonna record another episode, and we're gonna attempt to beat the final boss in that episode. So I'll see you guys next time.